Welcome back to the channel everyone. We're in the Great Northern Exotic Garden and we've come off the back of one of the coldest Decembers in the UK uh, in recent years. Uh, temperatures down to I think minus 12 in Scotland but minus 5 here where I am in West Yorkshire. Uh, today's video is going to be looking in my greenhouse to see what has survived and what hasn't of my cacti and succulent collection. Um, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notifications on if you enjoy exotic gardening, um, including cacti, succulents or jungle plants as well. But anyway, let's get into the video. It's not a game, it's a red so here's my greenhouse. I built it this year. It's a four foot by six foot holes. Uh, glass greenhouse and you would think from the size from the small size it will be easy to heat so fingers crossed that the temperatures didn't drop too low in here um, it was minus five I think the lowest we had here we go so minus five was the lowest we had uh, locally overnight but for a good five to seven days there was no temperatures above freezing during the day which was a real killer for a lot of my plants in my garden um i did set up a little homemade uh, temperature using one of these bbc micro bits uh, which did track maximum and minimum minimum temperatures and uh, over the period where we had low temperatures the minimum temperature in the greenhouse fell to uh, minus two uh, it was minus five outside so there's a three degrees celsius difference um inside versus outside before we look at the um, cacti and succulents and how they fared um, a little bit about what i've done to prepare the greenhouse for winter so on the north wall again we're in the northern hemisphere so on the north wall i've got double layered uh, reflectex which is purpose made for greenhouses it's um foil with a layer of bubble wrap and there's uh, there's two layers of that on the north wall of course there's no sunlight from that wall so i i leave that on all year round uh, to reflect light and heat back into the greenhouse i've bubble wrapped the rest of the greenhouse a single layer but i've left the the vent panel open in case uh, we have any particular hot days over winter um i have got a bar heater i haven't got i haven't got it on at the minute but under here i've got a small bar heater which does give off a good bit of heat when you need it i've had that on throughout the cold temperatures and then i did use for the coldest cup of nights one of these a candle under uh some flower pots a couple of layers of flower pots there to to maintain the heat i don't know how much difference that makes um i've seen youtube tutorials um using these but i thought it won't do any harm to try it um if you've used one of these and it's been helpful, let me know in the comments because I'm interested to know if this does have any impact and if it does give off much heat because uh, it didn't to touch when I came out in the morning following using it. Anyway, let's have a little look at how the cacti and succulents have, have survived uh, lows of minus two degrees Celsius. Well, I'll start with the Apuntia. This is my biggest Apuntia. Um, I don't know what kind of a puntier it is. I bought it from Asda um, and it was labelled as a puntier or even cactus. I can't quite remember now, but it was literally just uh, these three pads. Uh, this year it grew uh, some tertiary pads there. Got myself uh, pricked with a thorn there. Um, and it survived last winter in the shed that was heated. I had a shed last winter uh, with no damage. It looks absolutely fine. Um, I don't know. I can't remember what I've seen this. I've seen similar ones on other people's YouTube channels. Maybe um, a Puntia Robusta or something. I don't know. But anyway, it seems pretty hardy to me. Um, what I have done is I've taken a pad uh, and I've rooted a, a pad. And I might try that one outside to see how it does. I would love to have this in my arid bed next year but i don't know whether it will survive and i don't want to lose something that that's big that big so i might might experiment and try leaving one out over winter and seeing it, if this uh pad can survive on its own so no damage on the apuntia 
so far, minus two. Now, this is an interesting one. Um, I can't remember, I can never pronounce the Latin name, but it is a moon cactus. Um, and of course, because it has no chlorophyll, because it's not green, it's grafted onto uh, dragon fruit uh, rootstock. And I think I read somewhere that 10 degrees Celsius is the minimum it can take. But of course, I'm looking at it now, having taken minus two, and it feels firm. No sign of any rot. And it, I mean, it is quite organic rich. I, I've just popped it into this pot from what it came in from. I got it from Ikea and it has got uh, quite a lot of compost in there. I don't know if it's ideal, but this is one of those where I'm not that... If it The short lived anyway. If it dies, it dies, but it's worth trying. And anyway, this has taken minus two. So I'm feeling like it's going to be fine. If anyone else has got one and they've tried it, let me know. I'd love to know what other people have managed with uh, the moon cactus grafted onto dragon fruit rootstock. Um, looking around at my astrophytums, the myriastigma and the capricorn, both seem absolutely fine. There's no signs of stress or damage at all on those, and they're both looking okay to me, to my eyes. Same with the lithops. They feel quite firm. Nothing in here has been watered since... Um, end of September to beginning of October. So it's very dry in here. But obviously underneath I do have other types of plants. That So it's a little bit more uh, damp down there. But up here, above the heater, there's not a lot of moisture going on in the uh, in the potting mix, etc. I've got a couple of uh, jade trees down here. Ovata. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. I, get, I never remember the Latin names. But anyway, these did live on, on my bathroom windowsill last year and uh, I'm leaving them in the greenhouse. Everything in here, if it, if it, if it dies in the cold, it dies in the cold. Um, I'm just, I, want, I don't want to bring anything in the house anymore. I want to just have a collection in here. So this is really an ex experiment. Even the, you know, the Aeonium, if it dies, it dies. If it survives, it survives. It's gone limp because I've not watered it, but we'll see. It survived okay last year, this one. Uh, moving on, Echeverias. This is just a, a bought as a house plant, just called Succulent. I've got, that's the main one. That was a mother plant, and this is the offshoot. And again, I don't know what type of Echeveria. I don't even, don't even know if I'm saying it right, but it seems fine. There's no signs of stress. Um, seems okay. This is the... What's this one called again? I can't remember the name of this one, but this one's a hardy one that's going to be outside. That won't have any problems. Same with this one, the Aloe Striatula. So on the label, this one says hardy to minus 20 uh, Celsius. So this is going outside next year. I think this one shouldn't have any problems. Um, let's have a little look at the Agaves. So the Americana... Variegata seems absolutely fine and thriving. The Agave Funkiana, no problems. I don't really know what the hardiness of this one's like. I've got a bigger variegated Americana there and I've got my regular Americana. Absolutely no problems with these, of course. Um, these are fairly hardy um, and they're dry as well. And I've got a lot of offshoots there, a lot of pups um, that seem to be doing really well i've got my apuntia humifusa there which is the hardiest apunta you can get i think in the uk um it looks pretty shriveled which a lot of people have said will happen i've not watered that again i didn't want i bought it in uh at the bcss national show i think in was it september and i've not watered it so it's shriveled up but again that's going outside and it will grow pretty well outside uh, no problems. Let's keep moving on. Um, Euphorbia ingens, I think this is. I don't, it's just a Euphorbia that I bought. It's called a Euphorbia from Wilco. Uh, and I, I cut it up and stuck it in some soil. And again, these apparently are not very hardy, but they look okay. I don't see any damage yet, but you never know. Um, what else should we talk about? Let's talk about the Copia Poa. 
So this is a copy of Poe Coquembana, I think it is. Um, which I think you can find in the wild quite subtly in Chile. So anyway, it's, it's got obviously cork in it. It's a pretty old plant that I bought at auction this year. Um, but I don't see any signs of damage, no cold damage on there. If there are any copia power experts watching, let me know in the comments what you think. But for me, it looks the same as it did when I bought it earlier in the year. And the same with my uh, gnarly old copia power uh, Hasseltoniana. Here we go. I mean, it's very gnarly and old and it's been, it's had a hard life. Look at the back of it. I don't know what's happened there. But again, that's what it looked like when I bought it. It was very cheap for a copia poa. Um, and it doesn't look like it's had any any adverse effects from the cold weather. So I'm pretty happy with that. A little Euphorbia obesa there. I don't know about this one. Take a little look there. Be interesting to know if this comes through i don't know it's fairly dry again not watered that for a couple of months we'll see how that does not too worried about that one ariacarpus retusa seems as solid as a rock aptly there's no no signs of damage in there and the loth lothophora williams eye a little bit squidgy a little bit squishy but again, I don't see any signs. I'm looking under. It's very dry now. Again, it hasn't been watered, but it looks okay. And again, this is all minus two degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, but it's low. So that's my small collection of cacti and succulents that I started this year. And they've now taken minus two degrees um, fingers crossed that that is the lowest they'll have to take this winter, but if not, I'll keep the bar heater on. I'll try one of these candle heaters again. Um, but that's looking promising. All right, that's it for this video. Um, if you're enjoying the content, if you're interested in growing cacti, succulents, jungle plants in the UK or elsewhere with similar climates, consider subscribing and turning the notifications on um, and until next time cheers from the great northern exotic garden